Hey guys, Tales of Creed here. Welcome to something kind of different. Um, welcome to To the Moon. This is a indie RPG that uh, I really, really got into. I really love this game. It's a pretty short RPG, but don't let length um, steer you away from this game. It's about four hours long. It's not a very long game, but man, it is deep. It's pretty depressing. So, um, I think I really want to do this game. <laughs> so, um, there is going to be a few different things about this LP compared to my other LPs. I just want to let you guys know, um, compared to my other LPs, this will probably be like, it will probably be a lot different than them, as in a lot of it will be me narrating and, um, doing voices and stuff. I'm going to be very serious with this Let's Play because it's a very serious game and it's not something I want to joke around with. So, um, yeah, that that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, it's going to be a different LP. It's going to be a very serious LP. It's going to be Tales of Serious. But I just thought I'd get you guys... I'd let you guys know that so you're not all like, Oh my god, you, you, why are you so boring? <laughs> but man, I love this game. This game is very, very special to me. It teaches a lot of lessons and... The music is amazing. <laughs> but it it's just something that teaches you a lot. And that's what I like about this game, is it teaches you very important life lessons. And I really love that. So, um, yeah. We're gonna do it. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna repeat again. I love the music in this game. <laughs> like, it's probably one of my favorite things about this game is the music. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that, that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. <laughs> you ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm, we'll just have to say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why is the word have to be, or why is the world have to be so complicated? Ugh. Fine, whatever. Whatever fur ball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. So this is point and click, which I was kind of like angry about at first, but you know, I got used to it. But we received the equipment. Got the sucker, let's roll. I love, I love Neo, by the way. <laughs> He's my favorite character, pretty much. Tisk disk. Aw, oh, come on, I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? That's asking too much. <laughs> I'm sorry, little man. Eh, I'm sure your family will understand. I mean, we can't always live a long and safe life. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you remember. How thoughtful of you. <laughs> I love the little, uh, what would you call it? It's like little rivalry these two have. It's very, I don't know, it's it's quirky. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, the right word to say for it, but uh, you know, I love it. Put a boulder here. Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. That's something to say. <laughs> Cucumbers! <laughs> Let's try pushing it out of the way. 
Maybe we can find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or, we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Hmm. We could abort mission, which sounds kind of nice right now. But, uh, let's, let's see if we can push this out of the way. Alright, on three. One, two, three! That is one bouncy rock. I... I don't even... What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. <laughs> Let's just pretend we never saw that. We'll... We'll figure that thing out later. <laughs> Right. <laughs> All right then. Let's just keep going and pretend we never saw it. Look at that squirrel thing. Okay. That was a weird turn of events. I mean, a bouncing rock. Sure. Ma, they're here. Not a black, not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts, love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be an hour all nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't! And your eyelids. <laughs> Fucking Neo. Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. <sighs> Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I am just his caretaker. Look at those little bastards. <laughs> and these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9-to-5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Uh, sure. Come on, grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. <laughs> oh, Neil, you never get old. That's what I love about you. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Okay. Yes, I would like to go upstairs. I mean, why wouldn't I? Neil's about to drop this thing on his foot. <laughs> okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair! You pushed me! Did not! Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyway.
Man, I love that song. <laughs> Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Um, I also want to apologize if this sounds any different because this the setup I'm using is a little different from my normal recordings, so just thought I'd point that out. But let's go talk to the medical doctor. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Hm. This must be our Johnny. <laughs> okay, let's set the machine down. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. <laughs> Standard procedures. Just keep you just keeping you on your toes. Ah, oh, I love you. <laughs> and by the way, this isn't blind. I, don't know if that was obvious or not, but yeah. I just love this game. <laughs> How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome! <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> so, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So... Can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about our client here? That... I don't really know much about him. No. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I was his, if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. All right. Which one of us plays detective? Well, since I love Dr. Watts, <laughs> as you all can tell, I'm going with him. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. I remember you playing Watson. Meh, same thing. <laughs> I love him. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. So now we get to run around as Neo in a second. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Okay, sounds good. Let's go uh, hang out with the kids. Hmm. Well, let's look around a little bit. Let's see what this... I would like to look at the painting, sir. Painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Hmm. Painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Huh. Painting of an animal of some sort. Casual painting of three people. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if those will come into play soon. Who knows? Wait, come back here for a moment. 
I have something for you. Uh, alrighty then. What do you need, miss? Here, take this. We got a remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. <laughs> Johnny's hot heart monitor is now activated in the menu. So the menu is actually right click. We can go in the notes and items. The one thing I don't really like about this game though is that there's no really options menu, which really ticked me off on g starting this recording up actually. <laughs> so that kind of sucks, but you know, everything about this game like, everything else about this game pretty much makes up for it. So, a remote patient monitor, that's this thing right here. Connects wire wirelessly to the patient's local monitor for live supervision. So we can tell, like, how Johnny's doing, pretty much. So. Let's go ahead and head downstairs and talk to the kids. Playing, playing piano, aren't you? You guys are good at that. What you want? Uh, show me around the house. Hey, your mom told you to show me around the house. Okay. Maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing. That's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! <sighs> Alright. Let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars! I don't got that! <laughs> or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Uh, what? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for us when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... <laughs> eh, sure. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again, or I'd just tell you- tell your mother. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go! Well, that's not very nice. You can at least say please. It's almost like some kind of a terrible quest to get my night started. <sighs> kids. Fine, fine. We'll go get your goddamn candy. There it is. There's that candy cane. I'm too short to get this thing. <laughs> but maybe if I had this, then I can get up and get it. And we received a candy cane. Very good. Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. That's one way of putting it, Neil. <laughs> I'm always going to call him Neil instead of Mr. Watts, or Dr. Watts. I, I like Neil. That's a good name, actually. Alright, kiddos, I was against a lot of odds back there, <laughs> but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. Seriously, that thing had like no protection, it's probably full of dust. Alright, where do we start? I know! There's this funny room in the basement! I don't like that funny room. Er, what kind of funny room? You'll see! It's weird! We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid inside a book in the study. Huh. Where's the study? I think it's back here. No, it might be down... Uh, let's check down here first. Might be this door. Yeah! This is the book room! <laughs> the key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Uh, okay. I guess I'll go get that. Pilgrim's Guide to Origami. <laughs> oh, lots of writing that I don't feel like reading. No! A tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. No! Okay, maybe. Uh, maybe next time. 
but we got the room key. The man sure knows where to hide things. <laughs> Cause the book is so boring. Hmm. You must have liked painting. That's interesting. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day, I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. <laughs> what a wimp. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Uh, so, let's go. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Uh, okay. There we go. So, I guess we'll try and open this door then. The door is locked. Well, we got keys, so we opened it. 